Hey there everyone, this is Michael Dougal, the Nootropic Reviewer, and during this video I'm going to share with you my experience using Bromantane for 60 days straight. I used it once in the morning and my expectations with Bromantane were that it would improve levels of motivation, decrease levels of anxiety, and um, actually help me to need less stimulants. Like what so is, is I'm somebody that typically uses about 400 milligrams of caffeine every single day to help me with energy and to help me get through my fasting period. Now, uh, if I'm able to reduce my caffeine intake and use something like Bromantane, I would really be happy, but um, I have to say, I'm not that impressed. It may have helped with motivation just a little bit, but I've seen some great experiences out there like this over here, this anecdote that I found on Reddit. As shown over here, they're taking 50 to 200 milligrams every morning, which is somewhat of a common dose. And what they had found that was that uh, the bromantane reverses the antisocial and irritability that they get with methylphenidate. So what bromantane is most commonly used for is to improve dopamine levels. And it's interesting in that you ingest bromantane and the onset is that it typically takes like one to two hours for you to actually feel it, but then you feel it throughout the whole day, like about eight to 10 hours. And that always excites me with nootropics that you can take it once and kind of feel the effects throughout the whole course of the day, kind of similar to modafinil or something like phenylprastam. But trust that you cannot compare bromantane to phenylprastam or modafinil. I was expecting bromantane to be pretty strong it's really not that strong let's say you're somebody that's like very sensitive to nootropics there is a chance that you may feel it but from my experience like i was even taking doses of 200 milligrams 300 milligrams under the tongue expecting to feel something and i really didn't notice as much of a kick it kind of seemed like uh, mucunopurians mucunopurians also known as l-dopa is a very popular nootropic or uh, meant to be popular for the purpose of improving dopamine levels, but like you really just don't feel it in a practical sense. If you actually wanted to improve dopamine in a fashion that you would feel it, then you could use something like L-tyrosine. L-tyrosine I've talked about in this video over here. That's a nootropic supplement that you can take it, about 750 milligrams, and you're definitely gonna feel it after about 30 minutes. It helps to fight fatigue, helps with energy levels, and you can really feel that it may be doing something with your neurotransmitters, improving your dopamine levels, because man, are you motivated. And I was expecting to feel that with bromantane. I am have to say that I'm pretty disappointed with it. I, it may have been somewhat stimulatory. I may have felt a little bit more energetic, but can I say that it was responsible for like better outputs, making more money, helping me more, make more sales calls? Probably not. Um, but what was a little bit impressive with Bromantane is that I found that I had less of a need to take breaks. And that's actually one of the areas in which Bromantane is actually pretty popular, not necessarily for improving motivation levels, more so for actually helping to fight off fatigue. So if you're somebody like myself, you work long work days, then Bromantane, what was interesting was um, it's not too clear whether it's a supplement you should be using every single day and sort of see some kind of buildup or it's a nootropic supplement that you kind of use under those emergency scenarios when you really need something extra to give you that boost of motivation, boost of energy. But based on my experience, I think it's the latter. I think uh, bromantane is more so one of those nootropics that you don't need to take every single day for you to see the benefits from. More so, take it once, notice the benefits, um, the good thing about it is that despite it being somewhat stimulatory, it does not offset your judgment. Whereas what happens is if you ingest something like modafinil, modafinil, it may energize you both mentally and physically, but man, are you anxious? Man, your judgment is impaired. Uh, you will find yourself doing a lot of like the lower dollar per hour activities. Like for myself, uh, the highest paying work I can do is making presentations. The lowest paying work I can do is stuff like data entry and modafinil will make me want to stick with that without an entry work. But that's not the case with bromantane. Your judgment is good. And one of the really neat things about bromantane is that you ingest it and then later uh, you kind of forget that you've taken it, which is a sign that it's definitely not doing something to offset your judgment or increasing anxiety levels like a lot of other nootropics do, which boost dopamine. So it's good that way. It's kind of similar to Nupept and like Nupept, you ingest it like something like 10 to 20 milligrams right under the tongue and then you're uh, outputs are just better. Like I'm quite confident that with Bromantane, if you take it for 30 days straight, you will see somewhat of an improvement with your work and with your outcomes. However, there's a couple concerns with that. Firstly, Bromantane is pretty darn expensive. Even if you're taking a dose of like 100 milligrams under the tongue, the stuff gets pretty pricey. So you've got some good alternatives out there which are more budget friendly. Things like Paracetam. Paracetam, you use it two, sometimes three times a day. You can definitely feel it working. Um, better thinking, better planning, better motivation levels, energy levels. Nupept is also great. Caffeine and alphenine, that one's great. I think time is probably the most common to bromantane in that with bromantane, it lasts for the whole course of the day. With time, if you're using it twice a day, after about a week's time, you're gonna start feeling it throughout the whole day. So Nupep, pretty short lasting. Caffeine and alphenine, also pretty short lasting, but those two are gonna be really responsible for boosting your motivation levels and helping you get work done. And then the other big concern that I have with bromantane is that we really don't have much research, if any, showing that it is effective for humans and that it is safe. There's this one study here, we can see uh, the neuro and 
psychophysiological effects of bromantane. And what happened was they took 10 healthy volunteers and they gave them a single oral administration of either bromantane or placebo. And what was concluded was basically nothing. Uh, there was no objective evidence that bromantane was really doing anything for those 10 healthy participants. With bromantane though, one of the most impressive things looking at the animal studies was that it's super effective specifically in fighting physical fatigue. Like this study here, the effect of bromantane on the physical work capacity of laboratory animals. So you can draw your own conclusions from that, but if I were to use a supplement to help me fight off fatigue, it would be something like rhodiola rosea. With rhodiola rosea, I can take one dose of 500 milligrams and boy, do I get recharged. Like I just don't get that same feeling with bromantane. Uh, what's also neat is if you are considering to take a supplement to improve your dopamine levels, one other really promising nootropic right now is 9-MEBC, which people take very small doses of something like 10 to 20 milligrams and they can get some sort of boost of motivation. So I've talked about that nootropic in this video over here. I would say of the two, bromantane versus 9-MEBC, bromantane would be superior. Um, I actually noticed something with it with 9-MEBC. I'm not really sure what I noticed with it. With 9-MEBC, it's like it has some negative side effects. Bromantane, I'm not too concerned. Of course, it's a newer nootropic, but after 60 days of using bromantane consecutively, um, I can say comfortably that I'm not too concerned about the side effects. So for those of you that may uh, have interest in bromantane, I think it may be a good fit for you if you're somebody who's like perhaps you've been off of ADHD meds for a long time, you feel uh, a bit slower. It's very common. Like you get off ADHD meds and you can't read as quickly as normal. Your verbal fluency is off. Then perhaps bromantane is maybe worth trying. Perhaps bromantane could be good for those of you that just really need to take a break from caffeine. I'm guilty of that as well. I've used caffeine almost every single day for three years straight. And if I was to take a month off of caffeine, then bromantane, something like 100 milligrams once a day could be okay. Like you feel somewhat energized, but it's really not the same. Like with caffeine, you feel euphoric. You feel like you can do anything. You're courageous. So the way that um, I use bromantane was 100 milligrams. I took it right under the tongue just about an hour after waking up. And that's a pretty common practice. Uh, common doses of bromantane. I would say a low dose would be something like 50 milligrams or less. A medium dose would be 100 to 150 milligrams. Again, that's once per day. And then a high dose would be 200 milligrams plus. And what I had found from uh, trying different doses of bromantane was that the higher the dose you have, the better it does at fighting off fatigue. So like a smaller dose really wouldn't allow me to have like those long 10 to 14 hour workdays, but the higher doses like 200 milligrams or so were really um, helpful that way, just in allowing me to work long days and not have as many breaks as I typically would. As if I'm clear of stimulants and clear of things like modafinil or phenylparastam, it's like I need to have two to three breaks during the day with bromantane. Um, yes, I still needed breaks, but they didn't really need to be um, as long as typically. So I liked it that way. And the other thing is with anxiety, it seemed like uh, different dosages really didn't do too much that way. Like a lot of people use bromantane to help them reduce anxiety. And what I had found, the dose didn't really matter. And like a higher dose didn't necessarily make it better for reducing anxiety. Like it seemed just as good as taking like the 50 milligrams once a day. And I really hope you found this information helpful. If you did consider subscribing, drop a comment below with your experience. And hey, if you'd like to chat with me one-on-one, -on -one, you can do so over on Patreon, send me a message or message me on Instagram and be sure to visit our Discord server, which has a 24 seven chat room. We're answering questions in a time sensitive fashion and having a lot of fun. I thank you for your interest in nootropics and I look forward to seeing you all next time.